protested what they called discriminatory dress code. It was made for some dumb reason, probably made by some old man. <laughs> it's on us to make the change and to speak up. Like, it's just like, it's like a power play. What's your experience with dress code in school? Um, I feel like me and uh, many of my friends have been dress coded um, several times. It was always confusing how someone would tell me I needed to dress professional, but then there was boys who were wearing like graphic tees and then they were fine, but I wasn't. Um, my personal experiences, I've, I don't think I've ever been dress coded a high tech. I've always been like, um, trying to, like, destroy the dress code or, like, abolish it, kinda. The dress code fight isn't anything new. In the 1920s, jazz was hot, and women started to break away from their corset-wearing Victorian-era parents by rolling their stockings down and painting their knees. And rouge their knees, they did. They got creative with it and painted flowers, people, whatever their heart desired. And as crazy as it sounds, this fashion fad was an act of rebellion, and it caused shock with the classier people of the day. Knee painting was a creative outlet. It pushed away the status quo and gave women a way to assert their own autonomy. But what is dress code anyways? Describe the current dress code and your understanding of it. The current dress code is basically a way for us to like express ourselves while being professional. I'm putting that in quotes because I don't agree with it. Uh, okay, so my understanding, I never had a good understanding of dress code. I was always confused as to why we had it. Well, we went to the student handbook and apparently Tops must cover midriffs and backs, no half shirts exposing the midsection or torso, and shoulders, no spaghetti straps, tube tops, or any other tops where the shoulders are exposed. As for bottoms, skirts and shorts must be of appropriate length such that they come to mid-thigh. Why do we have dress code? What's the reason? Why do you think the dress code was made? Oh god, <laughs> um... That was, that's so easy. The, literally, dress codes are literally just there. Honestly, my opinion is just to like, literally just to put people, just to put girls under. We went to the handbook one more time and the purpose of high tech high dress code is to foster a professional, safe and respectful environment at school. But when you get into this like middle gray area where it's like, you can't express yourself except for certain things you can't express yourself then that's weird because then somebody has to decide what is professional and what's unprofessional. And what our school has decided is unprofessional are things that basically is just black culture and things that target women. The dress code is no walk in the park and it gets even worse for black girls. There's many reports and stories about how black girls get targeted in regards to dress code. It was pajama day. And so I just wore like a black tank top and some like pajama pants. Um, we were walking the halls on pajama day and she got dress coded for wearing a tank top on pajama day. And literally I'm just walking through, walking through the hallway and this lady had literally pulled me aside and was like, I looks me up and down. And I was like, I cannot believe you came to school dressed like that. One report from the National Women's Law Center says that this happens because black girls also face adult stereotype perceptions that they are more sexually provocative. Yeah, and not to mention, like, one, women not being able to control what their bodies look like in certain clothes. Things fit differently on different people. They can be wearing the same thing, depending on what you obviously, like, your shirt's going to rise up a little bit. But, like, we're not walking around with the hands like this. Like, what? <laughs> There's so much we didn't cover, so please do your own research to learn about how it intersects with different systems and identities. And find solidarity in knowing that you're not alone, and most of us have gone through this. And cut! That's a wrap! Woo! <laughs>